Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Mechanicus in the next uh, in the next round in the next round in the new year for me, the first recording session of the year. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful! I'm really looking forward. So let's take a look at the deployments we have available, and I'm um, going through them now. Um, on the one hand, what we get as usual and the difficulty so that ain't bad i think oh, that ain't bad let's take another look um that weapon well i don't know whether that's good or not plus one cognition but we have a cryptech here as a enemy which we haven't faced before a ranger alpha level two all right <laughs> and a flamer so that is quite hard the mission and we have the right admiral here so the thing is before we reach the full activity or the awakening i guess we have to launch this mission but till then we can actually upgrade us a little bit so biohazard i think i'll go for that one because i like the weapon tech Acquisitor Skevoda sees great potential in the Flayer virus that has infected the tube of um, Hubchow. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry there. Enter the tube and acquire samples of the virus from Necron Flayed Ones. Collect samples of the Flayer virus. Alright, let's get into it then. Launching the mission, taking four tech priests as we have them at the at our disposal, so to say, and deploy. Conditions in tomb of Objua suggest hypothesis, fusion of bio, biological and mechanical excitement fully contained <laughs> equals false. Okay, I find little to celebrate in fullness of tomb Objua tech acquisitor. Reflate virus biomechanical infections, agent fascination increase. Um, formulating desire, acquire virus sample, projected benefit analysis, increased combat effectiveness, understanding of enemy weakness, possible biological weaponry. Alright, yes, I get that. If there is indeed something positive to be salvaged from the decay of this tomb, it shall be considered. And off we go. Priority target infected. Sacrifragus from Necron failed to awake. I take it you do not know if such a thing can be even found in the tomb. Chance of discovery calculations commences. Calculation complete. Signific significantly higher than neglectable. Oh god lord, my English, sorry. An unexplored section of the tomb shows high levels of infection. It sounds like the best chance for this mission. I doubt it will be pleasant though. Okay, me too. Do not ask the Omnisire for a pleasant existence, Subdomina. Ask him for the strength to overcome our tribulations. Alright, deployment number 16. And I'll go through here for the cliff and then for the first um, engagement on the right side. The court must traverse a chamber raised deep in decaying biological gunk. It is on the most um, direct path ahead and avoiding it would be prohibitively time consuming but the viscous go or goo is a threat to body and moral. Alright, so we could try to create a solid crust on the gunk by searing it with flame. Wait through for discomfort is no um, hindrance for the skyons of Mars. Construct a makeshift bridge from the debris on in nearby chambers. I go with bake. <coughs> Application of burning pr um, promethium creates a solid looking surface on the caustic goo. The core makes their way across, but the trooper proves too much for the surface to bear and they plunge through in the mire. Oh, good lord, into the mire. Though they are dragged out by their fellow troops, they emerge wounded by um, the acid sludge. So we have lost 4 HP, which is not good. 
if you think that think about that we are commencing into a battle right now or not right now but very very soon a container of some sort of dead good lord sorry my english today i am so sorry a conta container of some sort that seemingly has a raw binary thieving within clearly it is of xenos origin sparks of data leak through the age sealant used to contain the treasure within and i go with the red one so okay minus two um, condition points doesn't matter because we didn't have any available at all so let's then get into the first engagement right here necron awakening warning our presence has been detected i don't care okay let's see um how the battle is actually going to be i hope good i hope good but you know sometimes it can be very very i wanted to say frustrating but you know what i mean all right um i will place him there this bad boy is going to be placed right there you and so that is our deployment um okay of course this guy gives the turn to us that is clear okay what we will do i will of course go there take the cognition then we go here and try to fight the first um, flight one. So what we can do, what we will do, is actually take the cognition there. Mm, you never know, sometimes that is very, very useful. So, first shot being fired. That was not that bad, so let's actually heal ourselves. And it may be good, it could be, well, they can't shoot at us, so there shouldn't be any problem at all. Okay, I am out of range, so I give the turn away. Go right here. Okay, from there I can still fire, that is good. And I'm going to take that cognition point. So collect samples of the flare virus, okay, scan or destroy, doesn't matter right now, I wanna take down all the bad boys here, down to 1 HP, that is great and amazing, 6, six damage done, that of course is very very good, not enough, co okay, they cost cognition, alright, fair enough, please punch, back, please, please, or not, that I did not expect, to be honest. Okay, um, if I... Okay, I need two more cognition to take him on, actually, so... I can't do that right now. Oh, he's down. That's good. So, we'll go there and punch him in close combat. I guess the best thing to do right here is actually to focus everything um, every damage we ha have on this bad boy and then on the rest of the Necron so we will do that 17 um, uh, health points that is quite a lot I have to admit you No, please not everyone. That would be very, very bad for us. And there I did a major mistake. As you can see, we do not have any weaponry on this bad boy. Mm, didn't even remember that. That is very, very bad. So, one thing I need to keep in mind that we give this bad boy some weapons he, uh, ex except healing he can't do anything so that is not really good for us I have to say and I hope not everyone is coming abroad that would be terrible 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 so we have a little bit of time right there all right um, <laughs> 
I actually can only use this stuff, so I will. Four damage done, not bad, not bad at all. Ending his turn, he will commence in melee, of course. Taking him down. Cognition taken. Um, I will even go right there. Take the cognition, take that cognition. And then do something a little like that. So that one is down. Uh, minus one fake one. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. I hate reanimation protocols. That's the reasoning I go after that bad boy there. Okay, um, I will even try to repair myself because, you know, why not? If we have the opportunity, we can make it. So only two health points repaired, but fair enough. I, first of all, am going to fire that at this boy. And then go right there and do some close combat action actually. On the one hand we are going to destroy that one. So I do not have to remember the reanimation protocol status, the awesome and amazing part here. Okay, I'll then move off the platform and give it to the Necrons. So the good thing is, of course, we are not clumped up. That is very, very amazing. Two damage taken. I will guess I'll take another two damage from this guy. Or three. Um, that is good because I can repair myself with the um, Tech Priest, which does not have any weaponry so far. So I'll move him a little bit ahead and ending our turn. So I'm afraid of the um, destroyer to be honest. But there I can now in this turn focus every weapon on him. And that is what we shall and will do. So I will take the Vanguard with us. Oh good lord. Five damage. Oh my god. That was not good for us. So I, of course, move you there. You are going to repair. Only to repair. That ain't good. That ain't good. Um, I am in melee. Okay, so... <laughs> that ain't good. Okay, I thought I could um, overcome him, but obviously not. That's too bad. So I can move him here. So that is good, so he is down one at least, that is good, good, good. You are going to go there, and then we start firing upon the um, destroyer there. Okay, I can't, alright. Let's then morph the, these guys to be sure here. Okay, I still have three, okay. I thought I would have more cognition available, but I was a little bit wrong there. So it is it for you. You are, of course, going to self-repair a little bit. Back up to 10, then we will destroy that thing. And then firing at the bad boy there. Two damage done, that's not good and not bad. Um, I'll leave him there so I can actually 
get him in close combat and then at least the reanimation protocols are no more. But that, guys, brings us to the end of this episode and you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.